this is Pete Roberts. I was I was born in Glen Ridge, New Jersey, and my parents moved when I was only six months old to uh, Roanoke, Virginia. And we lived in Roanoke, Virginia from that point on until I graduated from college. Yeah, when I was in the military, I, I was stationed in, in uh, three places, Aberdeen, Maryland, and then I was transferred to uh, Seoul, Korea, and I spent about 13 months in Korea, and then I got transferred back to Fort Lewis, Washington, and spent the rest of my time in the Army at Fort Lewis out in the state of Washington. I remember only, only two things. I remember when... Uh, Allied soldiers declared victory in Europe, which was called PE Day, Victory in Europe Day. Because I remember I was about five or six, five and a half years old, and my mother ran into the room where I was, screaming and laughing and crying, and picked me up and swirled me around over her head. And she said, Your daddy's coming home. And then I remember when my father came home, dressed in his uniform and walked in the house and said hello to me. And I hadn't seen him for a long, long time. I graduated from BMI in 1961 and immediately went to work and was, was sort of involved in, in work until 1962 when I went in the Army. And I was overseas during a lot of the early civil rights efforts. And at that time, we had full integration in the Army. And so the Army kind of thought this was silly because we had black officers and black enlisted men and, and we were all working together and we would live and die with each other. So we didn't have that same issue. I remember that I was in uh, uh, Fort Lewis and I was was a lieutenant at that time, and I was out in the field working with my men when word came that John Kennedy had been shot. We were certain at that time that, uh, that Cuba had caused him to die. And at that, that same hour, we received an alert that said, we are loading up on airplanes for three hours for the state or invasion of Packed up all our gear. We were ready to go. The planes were there. And we were ready to take off to go down to, to Miami to start this war. And they stood down and said, "No, that's we're not going to do that. Go back to your work." But everybody was very, very mad about Kennedy being killed. I think I think the the president and the Congress have a very difficult job. They don't seem to work very well together these days. And the spirit of compromise is unfortunately missing. I wish that you, you could step back from being a Democrat or Republican and really look more from the, at the good of the country. It's, it's very disappointing to me to see that lack of cooperation at, at the highest levels in our government. I would like to be remembered as... Someone who raised two daughters and taught them a little bit about how to raise their children so that our family is successful and happy and uh, cares for other people. Tries to do the best they possibly can for the world. And I'd like to be, the, be remembered as, as one of those people that helped me there. I think my dad my mother helped me feel that way. I think their families helped them feel that way.